The scandal grows worse. They weren't just pictures with fans, as the self-proclaimed interim president said. These were Colombian paramilitaries who smuggled drugs and, by many accounts, have a house in the Colombian-Venezuela border where they cut people into pieces. These pictures were a pact for the future, when they could take over the border to carry out their many criminal activities freely. When the pictures were taken, I heard my bosses say that we needed to keep those pictures to be used in the future, in a future when Los Rastrojos could move freely through the border with no military pressure, with no government to control us. I heard that was the deal we made in order to smuggle Juan Guaidó into Colombia. It was agreed upon that when Juan Guaidó became president, he was going to allow Los Rastrojos to work freely in this area. On the other hand, this is what Juan Guaidó said about these pictures. As I've already said, we don't ask for a criminal record to take a picture. The pictures were taken from Elias Nandito's own phone after he was detained in Venezuela. They were taken by him on February 22nd, when Los Rastrojos helped Guaidó cross into Colombia in order to attend the so-called Venezuela Aid Live concert in Cúcuta. The pictures weren't taken by chance. It's apparent Guaido knew who these people were. Juan Guaido had a 15 to 20 minute meeting with Alias Menos, Alias Brother, Alias Coqui, and Gonzalo. After the meeting, they asked for pictures, which I took with my phone. We then handed Mr. Guaido over to Mayor Henry Barrero Peinado in Colombia. After that, they had their own security team and they went on their way. Los Rastrojos handed Guaido over, over to members of the Colombian government. Dressed in white, these presidential escorts even had a bulletproof blanket. They took Guaido to a stadium where President Ivan Duque's helicopter was waiting. But the Colombian government maintains that they did not in any way aid in the logistics of getting Guaido to Cúcuta that day, despite this paramilitary's testimony. One day before the concert, we met with the mayor of Santander, Henry Manuel Valero Peinado, who said he had been sent by the Colombian government to organize Juan Guaidó's safe arrival. He also said that they had already organized Guaidó's security and transport in Colombian territory and that we needed to do the same for his passage through Venezuela. Our position has always been that we simply facilitated President Guaidó's entry into Colombia. We receive him and provide security while he stayed here. But the Colombian government's involvement has been made clear. This order came from the Palacio de Nariño to hire Los Rastrojos to extract Juan Guaidó from Venezuela on February 23. We can only hope the Colombian Congress and their judiciary start an investigation. We have all the proof here. We have the witnesses. Colombian prosecutors can come and interrogate them as long as they want. These are criminals, paramilitaries, and drug smugglers, as recognized by the Colombian government. Despite all the damning evidence, Juan Guaido has decided to simply call them fake news.